I want to tell you about a kingdom in a land called New Jersey. Now this kingdom was run by a king and his name was King Levi. And Levi was actually a very nice king. He lived in a castle called Lego World. And in this castle, he had many, many, many servants. I'm talking about like a hundred servants. And he, you know, had his favorites. And one of his favorites was a servant named Ezra. Ezra was King Levi's absolute favorite because sometimes Ezra could just know what Levi was thinking without even having to ask. So in the middle of the night, for instance, when King Levi woke up and said, I need Oreo cookies, Ezra was already outside his door with Oreo cookies. So it was really hard for King Levi not to play favorites. I mean, he just really appreciated the special connection that he had with Ezra. But because Levi was such a sensitive king and he saw how his servants responded to him favoring Ezra a little more, he said, I really have to make some sort of riddle or game to give to Ezra. I almost have to create this riddle so that he fails on purpose so the other servants don't get jealous that I like him more. So he was thinking, he was thinking, he was thinking, and then all of a sudden he said, ah, I know what I'll do. Next week, I will have a banquet. And at that banquet, I will make Ezra present to me a ring. And the riddle will be that I will tell Ezra he has to search the whole land, the whole land, for a ring that makes me happy when I'm sad and sad when I'm happy. Ezra was very high in confidence. So when, you know, Levi said, I need you to find a jeweler who will make me a magical special ring that you will present to me in public, Ezra said, I, I got this, I got this. So he went everywhere. First he started and went to another kingdom called Brooklyn. And in Brooklyn, he had heard of this man called Jacob the Jeweler. He said, if this guy can't do it, then no one can make this ring. So he found Jacob the Jeweler and Jacob the Jeweler just said, I don't know what to do. I can't find this ring. I can't make you this ring. No amount of diamonds I put on this ring will make you happy when you're sad and sad when you're happy. How do I do that? So Ezra said, okay, okay, I have to regroup and I will search other kingdoms in the vast land. So he went to Colorado to that kingdom. He went to the kingdom of Oklahoma. He went everywhere he could just to seek out a jeweler who would be able to make this ring. And he got very sad because his time was running out and all of a sudden he said, I have to be at the banquet tomorrow. I don't have anything to give to the king. On his way back on I-95, he was driving. He said, you know what? I see a special place in that exit 24 right there. Maybe I'll just give it one more try. I have to live out this hope. I can't fail. I love King Le Levy, Levi. And so what he said was when he walked in to this wonderful jewelry place in exit 24 on I-95, he said, I need a ring. I need a ring that will make my master happy when he's sad and sad when he's happy and I just don't know what to do. And he looked around and no one else was shopping for anything. So he automatically got very disappointed. He said, what is this guy, this jeweler gonna tell me? This place is totally empty. But the jeweler said, let me think 
for one minute. And after thinking, he was pacing around. The jeweler said, I think I know what to give you. And so the jeweler made a ring and inscribed words on it. And he said, give this to your king. This will make him happy when he's sad and sad when he's happy. And so Ezra was really afraid because actually he, he didn't know how to read and he couldn't read the inscription. And so when he got to the banquet, we have the king there. He's so happy. He's eating a lot. He's in his Lego kingdom. It looks amazing. And he's just having the best time at his banquet. And he greets Ezra and he says, Ezra, welcome. But in his mind, he's saying, this is good because Ezra won't be able to present this ring to me. And so now I will make sure that everyone feels like they are my favorite, that they are equal, that Ezra is nothing special. And then all of a sudden, Ezra takes out of his pocket a ring. And the ring has inscribed in it, Gamze Babor. Ezra is looking at the king and the king automatically, he's so happy, he's full, he's been eating tons of Oreos, he is just the happiest person, automatically becomes sad. And Ezra says, my king, my king, why are you so sad? Ezra did not know that that inscription meant, this too shall pass. And the king said, Ezra, you have fulfilled this request. Thank you for reminding me to live in the present and to know that there are times when I could be happy and turn sad like this, or sad and turn happy. And I must always remember to live in the moment.